The vision of Langham Literature is to provide evangelical resources in multiple languages for the majority world church. And at the same time, we seek to foster the creation of indigenous literature through helping of editors, writers, as well as publishers. In terms of pastoral training, there's a sense in which when you read a Western book, it's good, fine, but there are times you don't connect with it as well as you would because the examples uh, given are basically completely detached from you. And the Africa Bible Commentary was seen as that link that will help people understand God's Word and once there is understanding, then they will be able to apply it in their daily lives. So when people finally tasted what Africa Bible Commentary was going to look like, was going to feel like, was going to be like, suddenly people realized that God will actually speak our language. I've used commentaries for as long as I can remember. And then come along the Africa Bible Commentary, and it was able to speak to me, to help me to understand scripture within my context. So I'd be able to understand the Bible better from my context as an African. So it is a tool that has actually transformed anyone who is a Bible scholar and a Bible user in the continent. Everybody is so happy that that Bible commentary in the African perspective is so clear because the way it is written, everybody as an African, you will, understand, you will hear like, you know, somebody is telling you the story of an African, you know, especially someone like uh, when you come to the Old Testament, which has been so difficult for some people to understand. For us, we, it is explained in a deep way whereby the African people can really understand. Langham Literature for many years was involved with the Africa Bible Commentary in Africa. It was that commentary that one day I put on the desk of the Langham Regional Council in India. They had one look and it was like a holy jealousy came over them. They said, wow, if they can do that, we can do it. For Langham Literature to really contribute here in India at the moment, I think is very important to identify the kind of people that can write and to identify publishing houses that can publish and to identify editors that can edit because it's through them that we're really going to make a difference. There's a great need for Christian publishing in India, especially in Hindi. Local books addressing local issues are non-existent. We believe that the South Asia Bible Commentary will have a huge impact, especially in North India, where resources are very hard to come by and the church is still growing. As the church is emerging and the church is growing, one of the things is that many of the first generation converts are beginning to read the Bible and they have no clue what it means. I work with a lot of grassroots level pastors and I see that they have no tools to fall back on. And every time they you know, keep asking questions, you know, what does this text mean? Is there some place where I can find more uh, detail on this particular verse? I can't understand what this passage means. And therefore I see a great need for a commentary like the South Asia Bible Commentary. We have so many churches and so many people who are pastoring churches who do not have a good level of theological education or biblical knowledge. I sincerely believe that this one volume commentary is going to make a huge difference in the preaching and the teaching and the nurture of uh, Christians in India. We are passionate about creating Christian content in these local languages. We want to create everything possible so that we can blanket this nation. And to put it in other words, that everybody would have the opportunity to hear the gospel in a way they can understand.